Why isn't this ethernet working on this motherboard in Hive OS? So have you ever had that happen, especially on newer motherboards? You want to go ahead and mine on it and you put Windows on it and it works perfectly fine. But the second you throw Hive OS onto it, it doesn't see the ethernet connection anymore. Well, the reason why that happens on some newer motherboards is some newer motherboards are shipping with an upgraded 2.5 gigabit ethernet adapter. Hive OS doesn't support that natively because it runs on an older kernel. It runs on 5.4. Now they do have a beta version out that has 5.10 kernel and that has all the drivers installed already. So let's switch over to the screen and I'll show you this. Okay, so on the Hive OS main page, you definitely want to go over to install and it gives you this options. Now, normally you would download the GPU version and usually just the zip version. That is the stable 5.4 kernel. Now, if we go down just a little bit more, right here, browse download directory, download.hiveos.farm. Click on that, we'll get like a file structure. Now, what we want to see here is You'll see right here, this is recording as of August 2nd, 2021. So this will change in time. But HiveOS 0.6-205 stable. That's the stable one that has the 5.4 kernel on it. You want to go up just a little bit more, HiveOS 06-205 beta. Download that, install it just the way you normally do by burning it over with Bolana Etcher and then try it. I'll bet you 10 to 1 it works. So this is one of my workers, Marvell. She is running a motherboard that just has a regular 1 gigahertz Ethernet connector on it. And you can see right here it says kernel 5.4 HiveOS number 108. Now let me back out real quick. If I go to Falcon, that's that motherboard I just showed you. It's just doing CPU mining right now. Give it a few seconds for it to load up. There we go. See, there's no GPUs on here at all. But you see we're running kernel 5.10.0 HiveOS number 50. This is the beta version and it works perfectly fine as long as you run the beta because that has the 2.5 gigabit drivers built into it, whereas the old one doesn't. So this was just a quick tip for HiveOS, especially with a lot of people looking around for mining motherboards and seeing that the B150s and the B250 mining motherboards are still skyrocketing in price. They're definitely not worth it. So if you want to go either Intel or AMD and you have this problem, try the beta BIOS. It works for you nine times out of 10. and You can save a lot of money just using a regular motherboard. So thumbs up, please. If you have any other questions, come join us over at the Mining Misfit Discord. Link down in the video description. And I'll see you on the next video.